It's kind of like by this point, Hollywood isn't even pretending to have new ideas anymore. Vacation is the film. It is a sequel to the vacation films of the 80s slash 90s, I guess. Uh, the ones with Chevy Chase. This time, this is Ed Helms playing Chevy Chase's son, one of the Griswold kids, grown up and trying to take a vacation of his own with his family. And uh, what happens when everything goes awry for them, just like it did back when he was a kid. Uh, Christina Applegate joins him as his wife. And this time, there are two boys instead of a boy and a girl on vacation with them, a fact that the movie even makes light of, taking a few moments right there in the in the film to address the audience and say, this is going to be different because of this and this and this. It's a joke that falls a little bit flat, like unfortunately a lot of these do. I wasn't a huge fan of this movie. It does work in bits and pieces. Uh, there was humor here with some of the slapstick, some of the stuff that was a little clever, a little interesting in the way that the plot turned. Unfortunately, that's a little few and far between. I did like Helms and Applegate. Let's start there. I think these two were really, really good in this. And if I did laugh and if I did have a good time, it was probably because I bought into their characters. I think Ed Helms is perfect for this role as kind of the, the bumbling, uh, well-meaning father. Christina Applegate is really nice in this role as well. In fact, I think she steals the show in a few places, uh, kind of as the wife, the dutiful wife going along and trying to make her husband happy and still having her own adventure at times. The kids, meh, they were just kind of there. They did distract a little bit for me. I didn't think they were spot on in their performances, but this really came down to the lead two for me. I also think, and this is the other good thing, the heart worked in this a little bit, and it has in these movies, because at the end of the day, it's not about all the things that go wrong, it's about how when things are going wrong with the people you love, with the family you're close to, how it can bring you closer together and teach you something about each other. And this family had that, and I appreciated that they didn't let that go. So I thought that was pretty cool. Unfortunately, like I said, the humor doesn't work a lot. You know what it feels like? It just feels desperate. It feels like that person at the party who just wants you to laugh at everything they're saying and then it's awkward when you don't because you just didn't find it funny. That's what half this movie is like, is them kind of doing a pitch and a punchline, looking to the audience and the audience just being going, well, kinda, I mean, I guess I see the humor. It's especially evident in the running gags, which just happen over and over again in the movie and when they didn't work the first time, they're not gonna work the second time or the third time and so it's kind of like this snowballing down the mountain pile of awkwardness that hits the audience. And that can really bring a film down like this, especially one that's supposed to be a comedy. Overall, I thought Vacation was a lot less funny than it should have been, even with some great performances at the, at the helm. How about that for a pun? Uh, it should have been a little more funny, and so I can't give it anything more than a C plus. And I think that's probably a little generous. Thanks for checking out the review. You can check out more at yourmoviefriend.com and we'll get to the best ever challenge here in a second. First, click on the cards up here. You can do that while the uh, video is going on. It'll just slide out and you can look through where the website is, make a donation, look at other videos. Uh, also, if you wouldn't mind following me on Periscope, I Periscope every single movie I go to. Come right out of the theater, pop on the Periscope and talk a little bit with you about the film. And I'm loving having that interaction right after these movies to kind of focus my thoughts uh, on this stuff. It's a lot of fun. Uh, also, subscribe to the podcast. Every Friday at noon, we do a live podcast through Mixler.com if you want to listen live and interact there. It's called Sift Pop, but it's also available on iTunes and Stitcher as a podcast. Uh, just search for S-I-F-T-P-O-P. -P, that's Sift Pop uh, in iTunes or Stitcher or wherever you do your podcast. You should be able to find it there. Finally, the best ever challenge. This is where you name the best movie ever in a particular category. Also try to guess my choice. Let's go ahead and do best Christina Applegate movie since I enjoyed her performance in this. Uh, mine, my clue for mine, is the one that's really about celebrating death and maybe a little bit life. This may be a little tricky one. I'll see if anybody can get this one. Make your guess in the comments. Also feel free to put yours. I would love to hear them and have those discussions there. As always, I'll give you about five extra seconds to hit the subscribe logo right down in this corner.